Welcome to Fimura Video Marketing Training by Oloabi Ayodele Samson. In this video tutorial, I am going to be teaching you how to use Fimura to create awesome marketing video. By the end of this training, you should be able to create video marketing conveniently. I have prepared some slides to guide my thoughts. Quickly, let's dive into the slide. Now, slide one, launching Fimura. Just like you launch your browser, if you want to access Facebook, if you want to access Google, if you want to access any website, you have to launch your browser. That is just the same way you are going to launch your Fimura software once you have installed it. After the launching, it's going to display a screen like this. Now, let me quickly explain what each of these uh, numbers means. Number one means new project, which means you want to start a new project. Number two means open project. It means you want to access a project you have done in the past. Why number three means project library. This is just going to display the first five projects you have done recently. That is what number three does. So because we are going to create a new marketing video, the, our, our best option is new project. So I am going to click on new project to access my Fimura software. Now, once you have clicked on new project, you are going to see an interface that looks like this. Let me explain what this is before we go into the software itself. Now, this, sec this Fimura interface is divided into four parts. Now we have the media library, the preview window, the toolbar, and number four, which is the timeline panel. So quickly, I am going to go into the software itself and I explain in detail what each and every section of this interface means. This is my Fimura interface and I have my media library here. Now the media library houses assets. We have the media assets, we have the audio assets, we have title asset, transition, effect, element, and split screen. All these are assets, which means they are things that you can use on your videos. Above these assets, we have the menu bar, which is your file, edits, tools, views, export, and F. Now, once we understand what the media library, this section represents our media library. We also have the export here. Now, once you understand this media library, the next section of this interface is our preview window. The preview window does one thing. It previews what, soft, what video you are working on. If you are working on any video at all, this is the section that displays what you are doing so that you know what and what you want to do. Now, this has your backward, forward, play, and stop button. And to the extreme right, you have your mark here. You have your mark out and mark in. We are going to explain all this. Then you have your full screen here. If you click this, it's going to show you the full screen and if you click here you have access to your volume control you can volume the video you are working on if you want to take a picture of a video of a particular video on your screen maybe you are you are editing a video and you want to use a particular aspect of that video as an image you can click this camera this camera will snap the current picture the current video frame on your on your screen now we after the after this camera we have the preview quality and display setting. Now if you click on this you have your change aspect ratio, playback quality, original media, zoom and all that. Then the next section is your two bar. Now this two bar houses your undo. Probably you made a mistake or you want to undo something just like you do in your MS Word. We have the undo here. We have the redo here, we have the delete icon here, we have the split icon. This is called cut in MS Word. But here in Fimura, we call it split. 
and here we have the edit all these are shortcuts everything you have here you can access them on this on this menu now let's go to the far right of these two two bar now we have your render preview you have your uh marker here then you have your audio here now this audio means if you want to do voice over if you have a video and you probably don't like the audio that comes with that video you can do a voice over right here in timora mix your audio you can click here and mix your audio the next icon to the towards the right is your zoom to fit now this zoom to fit means if you are working and you have a very large uh a very large video files and you, you have to be strolling to the end of your screen to see the beginning and the end of that video if you click on this it's going to fit whatever the video length might be it's going to fit to your screen now we have the minimize and we have the maximize this is called your zoom out and this is called your zoom in you understand the function of all these shortcuts in this video now let's come to the number four section we have spoken about the media library which is the first section we have spoken about the preview window which is the second section we have spoken about the third window which is the two bar this is the fourth section of your femora interface and this is called your timeline panel as a matter of fact this is where we are going to be spending most of our time now let me explain what this timeline panel looks like if you want to cut a meat or probably you go to the to an abattoir abattoir is where they kill cows you understand if you get to abattoir there is a place we call slab or altar point now that is where they take cows to to slaughter them any cow that is taken to that slab to that spot to that place it means is ready to be killed to be pushed out now if you want to work on any project you want to cut videos you want to cut you want to remove audios you just pick the video and drop it in this timeline panel any video you are dropping here it means you want to dissect it you want to work on it so if you did not put any video here and you probably want to work on a video and you didn't put it here it means you are actually not working on it so if you will work on a video at all in Fimura or in any video editing software you have to drag the video to your timeline panel now i am going to explain what other things you can do here on your timeline panel if you look critically at this timeline panel you will see a tray like this this one you see this one that i'm moving my mouse along this is a tray and it houses your video if you look at this icon this icon looks like a video symbol now if you look right below it you will see another icon this icon looks like audio this is where your audio track are placed and this is where you have your video track you are going to understand all these when I import a video and I start working on them but before that let me also explain the other two icons this is lock once any item on this tray is locked it means you cannot work on it you can't even delete it so if you are working on different videos and you want to lock one particular tree just click this lock icon and it's going to lock it so you can edit that as long as it is locked so for you to continue working on that tree on that track you have to unlock it another thing that you need to understand here is the high icon which is the view icon if you click this which means you have cancelled it it means this track will not be visible do you understand it will not be visible for adventure you are working on different videos and you have placed them over each other then you want to you don't want something a particular aspect of that video to show in your preview in your video you can just click this and it will go off so if you want it to show again to be visible again you just click it will be visible like this is going to be invisible if you click again is going to be visible now let's come to the audio track now this represents 
audio now if you lock this that means the audio is locked you can't work on the audio and if you unlock and you click the speaker symbol it means you have moved the audio file now if you uncheck this that means the audio file is now on mute now i need to also explain one thing now this red line is called play head you remember in the holding days when you have this big a disc and they will put a playhead on it for it to play so anywhere this playhead is that is the part that will be available if you have a video here and your playhead is here only this part will be available on your preview window quickly let's import some videos and start working with femora now to import video into this media library you have various options you can click this this icon to import you can click import here and choose import media file because this icon will not be there after your first import so i'm not going to be using this so i'll be using this okay let's use this one for our first import then we now use import for the subsequent one so to import if this is available just click on this now it's going to take you to a place a folder where you have your videos uh pictures audio files and all that i just downloaded some video for the purpose of this training so i am in my download file so i'm going to pick the first video here and i'm going to click open so this video is imported now you see the moment i import this video that symbol disappears so you don't know how to import other videos now because the symbol we used the last time is disappeared so what we are going to do now is to click on import here import media then let's pick the second the second file let's pick this file let's pick this one um we show that one again okay okay let's pick this one too all right so now it's going to load all those files now these are the files we are going to be working with now to work with any file any video file just click and drag it to your timeline panel that's all now once you do that it's going to ask you your project settings and all that just pick the highest resolution just pick this so that you have more uh you have you have call you have quality video to work with just click this now you can see my video is loading in the timeline panel and after that you will see a preview here so let's play this video to see how it looks like now now i have paused it you can pause you can stop now what i'm going to do now is i want to talk about the now that we have imported all the files we want to work with the next thing is to start talking about the t s r c m of femora now i'm going to tell you what those t s r c m means that's just my own term when i'm teaching so that we we can get familiar to those things they are just short those short short words so i'm going to tell the meaning of them the first t means trim now the second letter which is x means split the third letter har means rotate the fourth letter which is c means crop and the last letter hem means match so quickly let's start with the t letter t which is the trim now if you want to trim a video that you already have you already placed in your timeline what you do is you stroll see the stroll bar to the end of that video you see option one now option two if you don't want to stroll to the end probably the video is longer than one minute or two minutes so what we do is just click on this you remember this symbol i told you zoom to fit just click on it and you see it has bring the whole video to 
to the fit to the to to fit the to, to fit our screen now let's go to the end we want to trim when you are trimming you can only work at the end and at the beginning of the video you cannot trim in the middle do you understand you have to do it you have to trim from the end or from the beginning it's just like if you have a piece of cloth and probably the cloth is too long and you want to trim you cannot trim the middle now you have to trim the edge of of the cloth but very sure you have maybe you have a foam and the foam is not fitting okay let's give this illustration you have a shoe and you have a longer shoe pad now shoe pad is this uh, foam thing that you put in your shoe now because the shoe pad is longer you have to trim out some portion of it so that it can fit in into your shoe that is the same thing you want to do so to trim just set your mouse to the end of the video clip once you have this symbol this cross like symbol is called a tree symbol just click and you see you are trimming it you are trimming it do you get that if you want to trim from the beginning just set your mouse to the beginning and the moment it changes to this symbol press down and drag towards the right you are trimming now for us to understand what this means in real sense let me control z if you control z on your keyboard it's going to undo now i'm going to use this control z symbol so let me click here do you see it has undo the trimmed video to split a video in femora just put your play head at the position you want to you want to split do you see this is where i want to split then just split there are several reasons why you split videos you might want to put something in the middle here do you see i have split this video i've cut it into two then i want to move the second part this is the second part this is the first part i just cut so i just split it so i'm going to move the second part to to the extreme right so i can give a space here in the middle then i can come here pick sample color and click and drag this color to the middle here do you understand so once i have done that then i can move this back to closer to this uh to this background now let's play this so that you see what i have done do you see that's the back that's the black background displaying now i want to do something again now i don't want to cut the video do you see what i'm going to do is that let me move this background up now whatever you have above the above it above a tree is going to show above now this is what i'm saying look at this background this background is above this video so if i move this to me here now and I move my track, I'm, I move my playhead here, you will see that the black background is covering the semi video. Do you see that? That is what I want to do now. So, but I want to also do something. Why this thing is playing, you won't see semi video because this black background that I just inserted has covered it. Then the next thing is rotate. Now look at this video, this first part. Let's, let's play it from the beginning. I have moved my playhead here, then let's play good i want to rotate this semi video this one she's do you see it okay no not this do you see do you are moving my playhead it's symbol do you see i've just splitted this video then i want to rotate this particular this first one so i'm going to right click you will see rotate now let's move your playhead here so that you can see do you see let me rotate it again now it's upside down so this is what i want to do so let's play it do you see the video is turned upside down that is how you can rotate see see me turned upside down now do you see that this is the video this is the portion i rotated do you see i turn it upside down this is the unrotated portion Let me stop this video here.
let me split it here i've splitted it this is now second video third video i just splitted this other one now i have this now let me rotate this if you don't put your play head here you won't see what you are working on so you remember my play head was here and i want to work on this portion this portion so i have to move my play head here so that i can see what i am working on now that my play head is here then i'm going to right click that is how to rotate a video we have been able to talk about trimming video splitting video and rotating video what happens if you want to crop a video now that is the letter c now to do that i'm going to also split you know why i'm splitting i want you to be very used to this splitting because it is something you are going to do a lot of time in femora so you have to be conversant with it so i want to split now i have worked on this i have worked on the second one now this is the third video that i have here don't forget they are it was formerly a long video before i started splitting them so i want to split this third part so just click and click on your split symbol here once that is done i'm going to move my play head remember if i don't move my play head to the portion to a particular portion i won't be able to now that i have moved my play track here the next thing is to right click and clip crop and zoom so i want to crop out this semi head in this video do you see just click and drag i want to crop that portion out i want to only see a uh, back view do you see that so once you are done click ok now let's play from the beginning again and see how it looks like we were the one that rotated this first portion this is the second portion we are the one that rotated it like this See, you only see Simi's back view. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see? That was where we cropped. Now, we have been able to work on trim, split, rotate, crop. Now let's work on let's talk about merging videos to match video is very simple it means picking a video and putting it at the end of another now let's delete this video let me delete this background let me delete this video now the moment i click on this video and drag it to the end of this first one i have matched them so that's what is meant by merging video in Fimura. Now we are going to pick this wedding video. Then I'm going to pick a semi video. Do you see? I put the first video on track two, and I put this. I put the wedding video on track two. And I put the semi video on track one. So track two is above track one. So you won't see semi video. If I play this, you'll just be hearing semi sound with the sound of the first video. Do you see? We are seeing the first video and hearing the sound of both videos. But you won't see semi video because semi video is below. Do you see? If you listen closely, you'll be hearing the first, you'll be hearing Simi's audio and you'll be hearing the wedding audio too. Now, let me mark the invisible of this wedding video. I want it to be invisible. Do you see it? Now we can see Simi video. Do you see that? If I make this visible, it will cover Simi video because it's on top of Simi video. Whatever is on top, take precedent. Take precedent over the one that is below so the one on top show first before the one that is below do you understand that is the way it is in video editing software 
so if you want a test to show on a video you are going to put the test over the video if you want